I'm going to show you how to do a clinch knot and a Texas rig. Show you how to hook one of those up. Alright, well, personally, I love this type of rig just because I don't think I've ever gotten more bass or smallmouth, but any type of fish really with this type of rig slash, you know, setup. Well, what I'm gonna do right now is show you all the stuff. Right now, I got a wide gap hook, little indent right there, helps the bait so it doesn't fall down. A quick connect, you don't have to have it, optional if you want to use it or not. A sinker to help my plastic bait go down a little bit farther in the water, and my plastic bait with a longer tail to it. Alright, well, push things off is I'm going to slip this line right through the sinker. Just throw it on up there. Alright, next, I'm going to do the clinch knot. And I can't get up, there we go. And just give yourself enough line. Alright, you're going to first, you're going to go underneath it. So you're going to make it like that. I'd recommend holding the line though, right, so it doesn't get messed up, you know, when you're coming back around to thread it through. I'll show you that. Alright. Just like that. Hold it, and you're gonna wrap it around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, then you're gonna thread it right through that hole that I was talking about. Then you're going to bring it back around and go through this hole, the giant one right there. And then you just pull it all together. And it should come all together. Give you a nice little knot like that. Then I'm going to cut off this extra line right now. Alright, so once you got your clinch knot on there, you're going to put your hook on there, thread it right through the eye of the hook, connect it back. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to hook up the actual Texas rig. Alright, how are you going to do this? You're going to take the head of it. Take it right through the top of the bait. And poke it out. Alright, and you're going to slide that all the way up to the top of the hook. All the way up into that indent too. All the way up there. Now what you're going to do is bring the hook down a little bit farther. And put it through there. Just keep sticking it through. Alright, then you should end up with something that looks like that. Kind of a bad looking one, but yeah. Because I got. There we go. Alright, there it is. If you guys want to comment on it, do whatever. If you guys want to tell me something about your fishing story or whatever, let me know. Hope it helps.